What's up everyone? It's your friend the whore dude and no I didn't just come back from slaying Justin Bieber. It's finally Halloween! The night where spooks and spirits wander the earth. To just get candy and shit. It, it, it feels like such a lost opportunity. Anyway, tonight on the special Halloween edition of the video game Graveyard, I'm gonna be talking about a new game that just came out on Steam a couple days ago called Camp Sunshine. Now, if you're any kind of horror fan, you got that special spot in your heart for those 80s slasher flicks. You know, like Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, the Child's Play movies, 16 Candles, the list goes on and on. So the devs over at Fossil Games really are fans of this and decided to create Camp Sunshine, a homage to all those 80s slasher flicks. But is it Good though. So let's find out. I'm the horror dude, and today let's talk about Cam Sunshine on today's episode of the Video Game Graveyard. Camp Sunshine is a 16-bit horror game that's about a kid named Jez who's sent to summer camp for a week while his parents work out their issues. Everything seems normal or as normal as it can be until a maniac in a bear costume is out for blood. Jez wakes up in the middle of the night to find that basically everyone in the camp has been butchered and must discover whoever or whatever is behind it all in an attempt to escape the camp. Throughout the game, you discover what's going on through flashbacks found in old diary entries you find all over the camp. You earn these entries by solving various puzzles like moving boxes to get through a room or helping find things for whiny kids throughout the game. <sighs> Seriously, speaking about whiny kids... Trigger or treat! Right, candy. Uh, give me one second. Okay. There you go, kid. The diary entries are written throughout the years by a man who used to run the camp known as Camp Big Bear back then, named Jacob Illerman and his son Isaac. Needless to say, Isaac is pretty fucked up. Unlike many slasher villains that take sequel after sequel to create a meaningful or just downright awful backstory, Camp Sunshine's story gives it to you all in one go through the 10 diary entries. And the story is actually pretty good. While it is slow at first, not really getting going until around the 3rd or 4th diary entry, after that point though, you really have a hard time putting the game down, as the story's characters are actually really well done throughout the cutscenes and have great development. You can tell the creators of the game are total fanboys of the genre, and it shows throughout the game. There are many homages towards 80s horror icons like Jason's mask floating in the lake, Chucky chilling in one of the cabins, this poltergeist chick, and so much more. It's awesome to see a game paying this much respect to the genre's greats while still remaining its own thing and being highly original, especially in an era of shitty cash grab remakes. One thing about the game, however, that I do have a gripe with is that the game has an annoyingly difficult learning curve, as at times it doesn't explain itself very well, like what you need to do, where you need to go, or what items you need making you fend for yourself. I can totally appreciate this, but sort of wish there had been some type of tutorial telling me what certain items actually did. I got through half the game before I realized food basically heals you after getting hit, but the game never openly tells you this, so you have to figure it out all on your own. Also, you will get stuck at certain points in this game. The map is huge and has many cabins and areas for you to explore and die in, which is an awesome thought. However, it means you have to backtrack like crazy to discover the right cabin or area you're looking for, especially if you have no idea what to do next as there's hardly any tips for you to follow. So quite a few times, at least for me, you'll be walking around exploring cabins over and over and over again, wondering if you've been there before or if you've missed anything beforehand. I kind of wish they would have done what Silent Hill did with its map system or even some type of a hint system keeping you on track rather than backtracking blindly to figure out where you're supposed to be going. Getting lost at times really slows down the mood of the game once it gets going. So finally, my verdict. Do I recommend this game? Guys, don't pass this up just because the graphics aren't up to current generation standards. This game kicks ass and is a must play for any true horror game nut or especially horror film fan. Yes, while it can be really irritating and make you feel almost cheated for not explaining certain things from the get-go, once you get the hang of it, Camp Sunshine is really fun and a unique experience. As fun as a psychopath chasing you in a bear costume can be. It's got one of the best 
horror soundtracks I've heard coming from the genre in a long time. It's campy and downright spooky at times when the maniac chases you in the bear costume, and its story is something right out of an 80s slasher classic. Ultimately, it's simple, fast, and totally worth playing if you're a fan of horror in general. Trick or treat! Fuck yes, holy for Tootsie Rolls! Cheap fast. Dude, I gave you the rest of the kids. <laughs> What's up guys? I just want to thank you guys for watching this review. Also, if you really enjoyed this review, go buy Camp Sunshine on Steam. These guys really have a love for horror, and anyone that's got a love for horror is a friend of mine. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button, and please hit the like button. Just because Halloween's officially over on the calendar, doesn't mean the Halloween party is over on this channel. I just want to say I love you guys, I love hearing your guys' feedback all the time. I want to thank you guys for watching, and take care, and have a safe October, Horror Nation.